practice and prep for bowl games not only can set the tone for what we're going to see in this game but for what might be in store next season as well as we'll see a squad from the ACC the Duke Blue Devils taking on a fellow ACC opponent the North Carolina Tar Heels glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football I'm Reese Davis David Pollock and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth guys we are ready to tee it up from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Blue Devils offense will start this game off. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB, toasting, pass-catching, touchdown scoring. Woo! Son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. You're going to have to be really careful trying to cover that. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. i got to stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. Using his legs, it's Moore. Slips a tackle, and he's got room. And he's running in the open. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Blue Devils. He would not be. So North Carolina's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are really revolutionizing defenses. They hit people, too. They are heat-seeking missiles. Nobody wants to run over the middle of the field against these guys. The offense starts in the shadow of its own end zone. A delay of game penalty in this part of the field? Man, the defense just starts spitting fire after that. The offense lining up for a first down play. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. Plows through the defense. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there are so many festivities surrounding it, Jesse. What do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in, and you have functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team with some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes. Bourbon Street getting ready for the Sugar Bowl, about 120 deep. Hard to forget that. They've got it first and 10 from the 25. A little over anxious, out of the stands early, and it's a false start. False start. Uh, 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 uh. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. 
Used to play fake. Now to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Play action has success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got the backfield, got the big play. He'll snap it from the 25 on second and 10. Pulls it in. It's Jones. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay of the game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Jones. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Oh, a big decision here early as they leave the offense on the field in their own territory. They want to keep this opening drive alive. He just kept going back safety. So after taking the safety, they'll line up for a free kick from their own 20. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. Looking to move it through the air. Makes his connection. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. New set of downs after that completion. The run from the shotgun. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. Second down coming up. Defense going to jam these receivers right off the line. Guys, time has expired here in the quarter, and Duke is on top. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Right back to him on the ground. What tremendous vision to find the crease and explode through it. He's down to the 31. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season and throughout your career, and then it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance. And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. And the Blue Devils are on the move. The gift to the back. Tried to fight his way through that tackle, but he's brought down. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. That's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. 
dead. Bringing it back. He's inside the 40. The 20. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, North Carolina. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Man, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. On to attempt the try. Looking downfield, it's, it's a fake, and the kicker's going to throw it. And he stopped at the 25. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. That last pick six after a drive like that, David can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right now. That play just never had a chance. They knocked him down for a loss of five. For an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over-pursue. But no Oscars being handed out on that. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, Knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. They move the tight end all over. Takes the handoff, it's Moore. And Shore tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Here's a timeout on the first look of the afternoon at the punter. Looking for a block, it's Patterson. Look at that toughness, just running through everybody. Well, they finally stop him, but he found some running room on that return and really helps out his offense to start this drive. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. <laughs> so they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Delay try to get some game. first downs together. Offense. Get some good mojo going. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flat. The offense set for a first down play. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And that's a really good job on the defense reacting to what they see. They see the quarterback flipping forward on the touch pass. Now I've got to go get it, right? Corral that football. He picked up some yards, yeah, but you didn't give up that big explosive play. Now you have to make him earn it now on the next down. And they pick up just a few on that completion. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. On the ground, it's Hampton. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle? In the hole? And the top. It's a fake he wants to throw. And it's caught. Can he get it to the sticks? Nothing but green ahead. Man, that is awesome. That gets the juices going. That gets everybody excited. You work on these fake punts all the time, but you don't call them all the time. But the coach saw something, executed it perfectly, called it at the right time, and got a shot in the arm, get some energy, snap it to the up back, completing the pass. Quarterback checking the play. Back to pass, it's Harold. 
can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Well, give the defense credit because they're forcing this quarterback to throw into very small windows under duress. On second down, he'll try to make the connection this time. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. He wants to throw. On the run, still looking. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, UNC! A couple yards short of where he would have been with a touchback. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. And they got it done in the first half, but the job now, follow up, close the deal, and bring home a bowl victory. Finish. You hear teams say it all the time. That applies to them right now, David, here in the second half. It's a lot of really good things in that first half. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. The Tar Heels racing to the line in the hurry up. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. They got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. We like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Makes the grab. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You've got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. He's got his man. Turns it on at midfield. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And the Tar Heels have their offense in high gear. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Looking downfield, it's Harold. He's looking deep. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Quickly to the tight end. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. The Tar Heels have it with a first and 10. On third down, offenses have their plays. What they like in third and short, what they like third and medium, third and long. Great job by the offense having success. Now it's to come up on the defense to earn their plays and try to shut it down throughout the game. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great way. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. To the ground to try to move the chains. Tackled after picking up the first down. Love the call here going RPO on third down, and obviously you're giving your quarterback. The defense gave them a look that was conducive to handing that football off. So good decision by the quarterback and nice push up front. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. And 
Headed to the end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tar Heel. The field position was bad. The finish was great. Great way to answer that poor field position. Poor field position, no problem. How about it? Great job by the offense coordinator. This offense getting in a good rhythm early, even backed up, even in a predictable situation. Great. Oh, now the kicker's going to throw it. He makes the catch in the end zone, and that trickery works to perfection for the two. After scoring that touchdown, they'll try to get it right back with an onside kick. of this team aggressive aggressive and more aggressive you got the lead you're winning right and you don't have to kick an onside but i'm kicking an onside and they get it nice aggressive mindset and it's rewarding quarterback making adjustments with his receivers looking to throw it's harold fires to the wide out and they dialed up a shot play but they couldn't hook up the incomplete pass leaves him with second down Running back goes in motion. He's looking for an open man on second down. And it slips through his fingers. Incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. Going the other way and he's got room. He goes out of bounds, but he creates the turnover and a great opportunity for his offense. And the offense came out aggressively here in the second half, but they can't put the drive together and spit it up on the turnover. I'll tell you, this defense has a lot of athletes. And they've got a lot of guys with ball skills. If you put the football anywhere around them in their vicinity and their ability to catch the football, they'll come down with it. This quarterback has got to be way more careful here in the second half. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. You know, I think that's a play the quarterback would like to have back. I'm not sure that's exactly who the ball was intended for. He had another open target on the other side of the field that he just missed. Looking to throw on second down. Unloads it downfield. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. He'll put the tight end in motion. Secondary walks up on the line, showing press coverage. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll keep it on the ground, right up the gut, looking for six. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. All right, so now you're in this third down situation close to the goal line, and it just feels, David, like they're going to have to throw the football in order to score a touchdown here. I like maybe trying to get the quarterback outside on the perimeter and give him a run pass option. I like that, too. Get the quarterback on the move. And here's the thing. If I get close and I get stopped, it's fourth down. Fourth down means go for it. That's all that means now today in college football. And they've got him down after the short completion, but they inch closer and closer to Pater. This defense will try to keep everything in front. Fires into the end zone! As they bring him down at the 12-yard line. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. 
And they've got a little bit of a cushion here, David. If they can add to it on this drive, it would be nice. And it definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Knowing I'm up by more than a field goal, obviously, Jesse, my mindset switches, and I know I can't make mistakes. Yeah, and David, I don't think they have to reinvent the wheel on offense here. What they've been calling has been working. Just get back to doing what you're good at. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Time to take a shot. Makes the catch on the right side. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his run. Throwing right. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. Let's go. Talk about leaving the door open. Yes, please. You think they might run the clock out, run the football consistently? But no, sir. They put it in the air. We forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. He just brought some serious energy, making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23 yard line. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Big play to start the drive, a little tougher sense. Now a crucial third down on this drive. Makes the grab on the left. And they'll stop him inside the five, but the defense is backed up in the shadow of its own goal post. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. And they'll spread receivers all over the field, five wide on second. Touchdown, Blue Devils! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. Who can you count on in those big moments? Who can make those big plays? Who do you trust? And they trust the receiver to run a go and to run right by the DB. He makes the play, breaks the tie. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. North Carolina has it back, and the Tar Heels so pleased to send the offense back out. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it, right? If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. And he delivers the blow, and he's still running. Rams him with the stiff arm. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. This offense has a second down play. Oh, he's looking to throw. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge fingers and he couldn't hold on I'm not positive but that first down marker might be in the next county quarterback checking off
On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Finds his tight end. So he was forced to just take what the defense gave him, and they were able to stop him short of the first down. And when you're a defense and you get third and long and you know exactly where those sticks are, you set your feet at them, they throw it underneath, I go rally, make the tackle. Perfect third down and long execution by this defense. And here we go, down to score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. And the Tar Heels get it past the sticks. I love the bootleg call on fourth down because even if you know it might be coming, you have to respect the fake. Yeah, and you don't know where the launch point's going to be. So you're going to blitz, but then they, now they move the pocket and it becomes hard because you got to get a moving target. Nice job by the offense, understanding the situation, using the quarterback's athletic ability to get the first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. Dropping back, it's Harold. And the pass is incomplete. Jarred loose by the hit. They could really use a few yards here on third down because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. Quarterback will audible. On third down, he drops the throw. Rolling to the right, trying to make something happen. On the move at the 30. And he breaks into the open. And wisely gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got the first down. Now in plus territory and a chance to save themselves. The Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking for space. It's Hampton. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Going to work on second down in the red zone and still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Pulls it and fires to the left. Touchdown, North Carolina! And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. Really good execution by this offense. Late in the game, under a minute, score to take the lead. It's what you draw up. It's what you dream about. But now, my defense has to go on the field and get me one more stop. PAT unit on the field. He's looking to... They fake it, and the kicker's looking to pass. Makes the grab for the two. To a drive there. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. You've got to be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field, chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you've got to have a plan. You've got to know where your best matchup is out on the perimeter and who can make the big catches here in small windows. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Got to get everybody lined up quickly, time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Going to try to get it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Timeout is called. Clock stops. 13 seconds to go in the game. To the air, it's Murphy. Pressure coming. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Well, you look at the clock. We've got time for one more play, but they're out of Hail Mary range here, needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a, a last-second, last-chance play that they practice, by the way, throughout the week. It's going to involve probably a lot of laterals. You've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. He's going to pass. Going for it all. 
It's incomplete, and they had a chance in the end zone, and he just couldn't come up with it, and that's going to do it. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that, that can focus in the moment or they can't. Great job by the team. Stay in focus. Understand it's a close battle. Win those one play at a time and then look up and then, heck, I got the win. Yeah, David, they just had ice in their veins. And you can tell there's tremendous leadership on this football team. Guys can step up and in the huddle, they can make sure that everybody else is focused to the task at hand in order to get the W. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. Thank you.